folks, Nick Donatelli here, and welcome back to the Houdini for MoGraph series. Today we're going to be going over how to procedurally create a brick street, and then we're going to destroy it. This concept is pretty straightforward, so let's just get into it. We'll start by making a brick. So drop a box, and set it to 0 0.3, 0 0.05, and 0.12. And that looks like a brick to me. And so I'm just going to copy the Y size and paste relative reference it into the center and then divide that by two so that our brick sits on the origin. Now we'll make a road to lay those bricks on. So drop a grid with a size of 1.2 and 0.5. And now make a points from volume node and change the configuration to a tetrahedral so that the rows stagger. And I'll set point separation to 0.16. Now make a copy to points to start to see what we have. Dragging in the box and hooking the other end up to the points. And now since we, we see that our bricks are wider in one dimension, we're actually getting some overlap since the points from volume is actually just evenly spaced. So my solve for this is to do a transform after the points from volume, scaling it two in the X, and that's looking better. Now, just note that if you want to do this and you had to be specific with your road size, say it was for a shot, just make sure that it's smaller before the points from volume, since you'll have to scale up afterwards. Now we have this problem where the edges stick out which wouldn't happen on an actual road since it would kind of be inset and contained by something. So to fix this, a, drop a boolean and a box node. Now we want the box to cut the sides. So in the first off in the grid, we're going to go to the Y size and copy parameter. And then in our box, paste relative or reference it into the Z size, just so that our box is as long as the road. Now hook up the box to the boolean and swap it from subtract to intersect. And you can see we're cutting it out and I'm just going to manually adjust the X size of the box to clip it to where I'm happy. But if you need this road to be a specific size again, you could paste that in here. So next I want to make a poly bevel and set it to 0 0.005. And then in the divisions of the fillet, I'm going to change that to 3. And this is just to give a little bevel onto the side of our bricks. And now one last bit of manual work that I'm going to be doing is I want these bricks as close as possible. So I'm just going to slide the original brick sizes until they're touching without combining due to the boolean. And since I already set this up before, I actually know what those values are, so I'm just going to manually type in 0.3198, keep it at 0.05, and then 0.1385. Last thing here is drop an assemble node, and then check on create pack geo to pack these before our sim. And that's the brick setup. So now let's make a collider before we dive into our sim. So we're going to make a sphere with a size of 0.4, changing it to polygon. And now I'll ghost our road, and I'm going to animate this linearly from 1001, moving it minus 3 in the Z, and then I'll click to set a keyframe, and then move to frame 1080, and I'm going to move it to positive 3. Then I'll click again if you don't have auto key already on. Now in our animation editor, I'm going to select the keyframes and switch them to linear. And nice. Now make a null after that, and I'm just going to name it Collider in all caps for us to reference in a second. Now after the assemble, hook up a DOP network. And dive inside. So first I'm going to make all the nodes in order and then we'll go through the changes we need to make. So we're going to do an RBD packed object and then a rigid body solver 
with the packed object wired into the first input. Next, make a gravity node and then do a ground plane and merge it after the gravity. And now change the merge to left and hit Shift R so that it comes in from the left. Now we're gonna Alt drag to copy that merge and then make a static object for the collider and merge that in again, getting it onto the left input. And all right, those are the nodes. So let's go through settings. All we have to do is in the RBD packed object, set the source to first context geo. And then in this static object, grab that collider null that we set up and check on deforming object so that we have it animate. And now if you hit play, you can see we have destruction going on. Pretty straightforward. Um, this could work for you, but one thing that I wanna add is an edge collider so that the bricks on the sides aren't moving as much since in reality, a brick road would likely be contained by some kind of boundary. So to do this, hop outside the sim, and I'll make a box after the assemble node in a separate branch, which will give us the bounds of our bricks. And then do a transform, bringing it down 0.02, just so it's underneath a bit, and in the Y, and scale it by point or 2.5, so that we have a bit of a lip going on. Then do a blast node, and select the top and bottom prim to blast those away. And lastly, do a poly extrude, bringing the edges out a bit. And make sure to scroll down and check on output back to close it up so that this is a watertight object. Now make another null and name it wall in all caps for us to grab inside the sim. And speaking of inside the sim, hop back inside, and we're gonna alt drag this static object and merge. So we have a second one. And I'm gonna change the path to that wall and uncheck deforming geometry since that's just a static piece of geo. Now, if you hit play, you can see that it's not actually colliding like we want it to. And this is because it's a concave object, meaning that it curves inwards since we, of course, have a giant hole in the middle of our object. So in collision, go to the bullet data tab and change this geo representation from convex to concave to tell it that it is indeed a concave object. Now if you hit play, you can see we have our destruction. Last thing, just to make sure we only are taking out the bricks from the sim, uh, go up and grab the RBD packed object and just copy the name of it and then hop outside the sim. And in the object merge, get rid of this star and paste that name there so that it's only the bricks, not the colliders and the ground plane coming out of the sim as well. And there you have it, our brick destruction setup. You can download the project files on this site, which contain a setup for rendering in Redshift. Sorry, non-Redshift users. As always, would love to hear from you in the comments if there are any effects you'd like to see tutorials for in the future. Hope you enjoyed this one, and until next time.